Hey everyone, welcome back to the Working Dirt channel. I'm Joel, and in today's video, we're gonna show you how we go about moving a 40-foot storage container because it seems as though as soon as you buy a piece of property, the first thing you need is more storage. So I think a quick and easy solution is just to go out and buy a storage container or connex container. Now we were lucky enough to buy a piece of property with a storage container on it. We just needed to move it to a more convenient location. Now, on a quick search, I found there was options out there. You could buy some tow dollies or tow equipment or just hire someone to do it, but that wouldn't be fun. So we decided to go ahead and fabricate something up. Basically involves a set of tow dolly wheels that are used for a car that we filled with a dense rubber that they used to fill Bobcat tires up with. Slapped it together, made it eight feet wide. See how it actually turns out. Stay and watch the video. And if you do like the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hello. Where's your stick? Where's your stick? Oh yeah. for that water heater laying on the ground then you'll get back up. Just not this weekend. Oh, yeah. Linnell's drowning the gophers. Yeah. Coming up. That's where the, the hole comes down. <laughs> This is the excavation site, as you can see, for the storage container. You know, it's always tricky grading, especially when you're kind of a newbie at it, but uh, I think we're getting it pretty good. We need it at least eight feet wide, and uh, later, because we're short on time, we'll have to slope this dirt out so we can allow water to go around the storage container. Mm -hmm. And we gotta push this dirt out, because this will be the entrance for the storage container. And uh, right now we need about eight more hands with shovels to do a little fine tuning, <laughs> including the camera woman. So our eight foot dolly is becoming more useful than we thought already. We haven't used it for its main purpose, but now we're finding that we need to move this uh, shelter uphill so we can have a clear path of pulling our cargo container through. So we're gonna set this on the dolly, push it uphill, and uh, get back after it. All right, so we're doing a little farmineering here, and uh, the plan is to take our homemade contraption of a tow dolly that's filled with solid rubber to slide it in about, we, we want it to be two thirds of the way. We don't know how heavy this is. We're guessing about 6,000 pounds because the solid steel ones are around eight to nine, I'm guessing, thousand pounds. And just to be clear, the wheels are filled with rubber. Yeah, solid. these wheels are yeah. filled with solid rubber. So we're gonna try to jack this up with two jacks in the tractor and 
slide this dolly underneath. So how are we sliding it? And then we're gonna drag it with the four by four, either the tractor or the truck, out to the front of the house. So let's see if we can get it lifted up here. Take it off once we have it. Yeah. So Brian on three, we'll get yep. nice full tugs. One, two, three. Oh yeah. One, two, three. Stop. There we go. All right. So how far forward do you want to go? Let's see. Uh, we can go. I'd say as heavy as it is, we definitely need to go forward. You're worried about the container sliding too forward into yeah, the truck? Yeah, take an extra precaution because we don't want to make an insurance claim. I didn't think it would just bounce off his truck and not even leave a scratch if you ask me. <laughs>
You're gonna be able to get over this hill? I think so. Oh, okay. Well, all these Toyotas around here in the forest, you want helping out. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that, that too, but they're... Thank you, Jason. Yeah, you bet. <laughs> look, hey, look at those solid rubber tires. Yeah, look at those skateboard tires. Oh, yeah. Hey, you just that just right. So the last I looked, there's no instruction manual on how to move a 40-foot cargo container. But what I thought of was to kind of treat it like a tractor trailer from a big semi, right? You got tandem wheels in the back, and you got a heavy load in the front. And in order to... I couldn't make two sets of wheels, so I figured, well, for more stability and keeping it low to the ground, why not build something that acts like a sled? So we had some leftover radius metal here, um, and we welded some uprights to kind of hug this corner and chain it around the corner to stay there. And it worked well yesterday, acted like a nice little skid, so it wouldn't dig too much in the ground. And then now, since we have to do this whole move in like a three ser three part series. I need to move the wheels to the back and put the sled on the front so that we can take it around and pull it like like an actual trailer. But now we're gonna try to use my my tractor or my truck instead of my buddy's F-250 because he's home now. But it worked good yesterday, so we're gonna repeat success and hopefully everything should go all right. It'll get a little interesting over there on the dirt hill, but you'll see how that goes. Do I need to move the tractor more? Okay. Yeah, let's move the tractor. Okay. <laughs> It'll just roll itself into place. <laughs> How about that? How about that? All right, it's a little risky to jack here and take a long oh, time. Uh -huh. I think it'd be safer and less time to go ahead and pull from the front. And I'll have you or someone else on a tractor continuing to nudge the back or pull with the chain oh. to turn it. So okay. I'm going to guide it from the back. Okay. It's Oh, 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 almost there. Yeah, hold on. Oh, was that our original yeah. mark? Yeah, we are that's why I stopped you. Right on yeah. the money. 
Yes, ma'am. So she's finally in place and as level as we would, well, like it, because we actually positioned it to tilt a little downhill and a little back so that the rain can kind of go off and back and not come to the, the inside and erode that. And we used just some cement pavers that will eventually settle, but we cut into native ground so it shouldn't compress much more. It should settle just a tad and we're gonna fill the rest of the dirt just to the bottom to keep rodents out and whatnot. And then they'll put like a little uh, stairway to the front so they can access the front to put, put all their stuff in it. I think we're gonna rent this system out. A dolly and a sled. Back now for $3.99. It did amazingly well for being able to be put together in like an hour and a half. These little bars were just some, I don't know, almost eighth inch wall, inch and a half square tube. And uh, then this is a two by three. And it looks like I was gonna do cross bracing, but I didn't have enough time. And it actually worked out that I didn't add extra bracing because more it friction. allowed this to bend more because all the weight was on the front corners but as we drug it on the road the road had a little crown to it so this was able to bend with the road and keep the weight on the outside so if we flip it over you'll see the eighth inch steel tube here uh, did pretty well dented in a little bit where the brunt of the force was and then this was the back of it you see, it took a little beating, but if we made it too rigid, it would have probably fought us more. And now I think we're gonna use our little dolly thing as like a log mover, but. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. It already moved that little shed quite easily. Yeah, out. We're, we'll find uses for it. We're very impressed. Cause yeah. like I said, I think we put uh, close to three to 4,000 pounds on it. Yeah. And it did, it did well, so. Yeah. And don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> Ha 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 ha!